There was a guy. I I don't know if you saw this because it was in the French media. There's a um a guy that uh the the owner of the beach club. You know the beach club in uh, Point Calumet. Okay. The, the it's kind of like a bar, but it's uh, open beach in the club. summer. The one that's called the beach day. club. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the beach club. He he has a um, a blog. And he was looking for journalists, and he, he he just tweeted out. He was like, "Look, I'm looking for journalists uh, to write stories for my blog. I'll give you five dollars a story." <laughs> He's paying five dollars a story. <laughs> Who's gonna fucking take that? See, that can you uh, write in English? <laughs> yeah, don't don't do so. You have a job. Five bucks a store, and then people lost their minds, especially journalists who are like, "You motherfucker!" And then the way he defended it, he was like, "Yeah, but the stories on my blog don't have to be original. You can just take stories that you find on websites from news outlets or other blogs, and just take that story and put it in your words." So he was telling people, "Look, Steal I don't shit pay for much five bucks because they're just plagiarizing for five bucks." Who is this <laughs> clown? Yeah, and then he said, like a journalist was telling him that he's a piece of shit, and he goes, "Look, I I timed it out. I think the you could write technically five stories an hour. So if I give you five bucks a story, that's twenty five bucks an hour." <laughs> what a stupid what son a of dummy. a bitch! Yeah, what a dummy. What yeah. a fucking what's this guy's name? Uh Olivier Primo. Oh, you're trying to find it? I don't is that public? Yeah. Yeah. Je m'excuse. Yeah, Olivier Primo. What a Je fucking suis dummy. À gars. Cause you figure if you're not gonna pay much, don't talk about the salary in the ad, right? Like if if I'm looking for someone To, to do okay. like menial labor at my house. If I'm paying them a shit wage, I'm not going to write the shit wage in that? the ad. Fidzu drag and drop. Oh, did he find the... Uh... You know what the problem is? Yeah. Okay. I'm, used to, I'm used to Poseidon. This guy, uh, he keeps finding everything in French. Okay. Which is fine, whatever. Do you see it? Beach uh, news every day. Yeah, we're looking for two passionate and motivated uh, journalists. If you have any experience. But you know what the fucked up thing is? And he wants experienced writers too for five bucks a story. But this is in French, no? Yeah. I think the Huff it? Post doesn't pay though. Like a lot of the writers on the Huff Post do it for free. Uh, the Huff Post, yeah, they do it for free. I used to know a guy that used to write for the Huff Post. Yeah. So you're better off, I think, not paying at all than paying five bucks. Yeah, dude, it's first of all, the time you're going to spend doing this, you can make five bucks. Yeah. Or just if you're going to write for someone, this is what Yan tweeted out. If you're going to write for this fucking guy for five bucks a story, just get a, a, a WordPress and start your own blog. Right? Try to build your brand. Well, what does this guy do? If he runs Beach Club, why doesn't he focus on like club shit? Because he's got a bunch of companies now. He has uh, he, he uh, sells a poutine in a, in a Costco, in the like microwavable poutine. <laughs> Find that. Yeah, he has Truth microwave so. wavable poutine. He had a radio show for a while on one of the shitty uh, Quebecois networks. I think in Quebec City. Okay. Uh, yeah, and he's just a uh, he just wants to be famous. So he's like a media guy now. It's not gonna work. The yeah, second yeah, you pay he, people five bucks, it's not gonna work. Yeah. Oh, thank you. La Belle Province Poutine. No, his isn't La Belle Province Poutine. I don't know what it's called, but it's some some microwavable uh, poutine that they only sell at Costco. Well, uh, I do have a crackhead looking for me, so okay. I'm doing the best I can. Perfect. By the way, I've <laughs> I mistakenly called him Poseidon. I've called him a crackhead, and uh, I think 
me calling him Poseidon offended him more than anything. 